If you live in Madison, you'll soon have a big decision to make about the way the city operates. Tonight, we're working for you as we kick off Madison Matters, a deep dive into a series of stories to help you better understand the plan to switch the form of government. Days from now, the way of governing North Alabama's second largest city as we know it could change for the first time in decades. The choice at hand? Stick with the mayor council way of running things or swap it for the council manager form. The move would alter the mayor's role and create one for a city manager. The way it will change is the form of government will go to a mayor and six council members. They will work together to hire a city manager, a professional that would be responsible for putting together that vision, a budget that supports that and managing that. So how did the city get here? A big population boom from as little as 400 people in the 1950s to around 60,000 now. That number could reach 80,000 in the next 10 years as great schools, tech companies and a smart workforce draw more people here. Political science experts say that's why this type of change is often inevitable. As more and more people move into these cities, it just gets more complicated. So it's harder for one person, especially an elected mayor, to really oversee that. And that's one of the points Madison Ford, the grassroots group behind the plan, is trying to make. One of his leaders, James Ross, served on a task force charged with exploring the option. We discovered these reports would show the research began back in 2015. There were seven of us, um, completely different backgrounds, but we came together. We talked to city leadership from cities that have a city manager. We also talked to cities that don't have a city manager. We also talked um, to um, all of the department heads in the city of Madison. And ultimately, we came to the city council and Mayor Finley um, in late 2021, where we unanimously recommended that Madison move forward into a council manager form of government. The Council Manager Act of 1982 makes it possible. Political analyst Emily Peck breaks down the law. It outlines how many um, names are needed to get a petition on the particular ballot, um, what's the process. Um, it also states that uh, the city manager could be removed by uh, a majority vote of the city council. Tonight on Way 31 News at 10, I'll break down both forms of government and what the difference between the two means for you.